Hey, uh, today I'm talking about these Red Wing Romeos. Uh, a lot of people kind of hate on this design, but I think if you take into consideration the, you know, the purpose of this design, uh, you know, historically these were these were made for people after work, take off your work boots and just have something that you could quickly and easily slip into. Um, it makes a lot of sense that you've got something that's just serving a very specific function. Uh, and for me, these just stay at the mudroom door. I can slip them on real easily if I'm just heading out the door quickly. Also in terms of this being a functional option to, to have in your collection, uh, this would be a really great option if you do a lot of traveling. You've got no shank, you've got no hardware, so you're going to be able to uh, you know get through the airports without any, any issue there. Uh, so definitely a functional option. Uh, and design wise, I actually kind of like these, um, especially in this, this is the Navy Abilene Rough Out Leather. Uh, from SB Foot Tannery, which is Red Wing's own tannery. Um, so yeah, these are built on the number 17 last. Uh, not the ideal last for my foot shape. It's got an almond-shaped toe and then it's kind of straight through the waist and heel. Um, but, uh, you know, in my opinion, these fit better true to size. And I know I've read some others that, uh, that have the same experience. But uh, I would make sure that the number 17 last is going to work for you before you buy something made on that, um, especially the Romeo, because it doesn't have any shaft to kind of help keep things in place like, uh, like the Pecos boot might have. Uh, they're built on a Vibram Christy Wedge sole, uh, 360 degree Goodyear welt, which is stitched to the slip sole or the rubber midsole, which is then adhered to the Christy Wedge sole. It's got a layer of cork filler uh, and a leather insole. Uh, as mentioned, it's in uh, SB Foot Tannery uh, leather. This is a rough out. The elastic goring is just really, really high quality, um, really nice uh, and thick. It's got a, a reinforced elastic across the top there. No issues or concerns with this losing its elasticity over time. I'm really happy and impressed with that. Got some really cool pull tabs on there. They're just a fabric pull tab, but they're sewn in there nice and strong. This is a fully lined shoe, and, and this uh, falls under the category of a non-lace slip-on shoe, uh, not a boot. Um, so this is a fully lined, uh, leather-lined shoe. It's really nice and comfortable, high-quality leather. Uh, I haven't been able to confirm it. Maybe somebody that's watching can do that for me, but I am almost certain that the heel counter is a leather heel counter or maybe a leather board, I don't know. Um, but it's very soft and malleable. There's no real um, cup to the heel counter. And because of the shape of the number 17 last, uh, there's a little more room in the heel for me because I've got a narrower heel and a wider forefoot. Uh, I'm, you know, I get quite a bit of heel slippage. And without that, you know, hard heel counter, there isn't a lot to lock my heel in. And, um, you know, I'm just finding over time, I'm, I haven't been able to form much of a heel pocket in there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep hoping, I'll keep my fingers crossed that, uh, you know, with time I'll, I'll continue to kind of uh, put my heel shape into there and reduce the heel slippage. Uh, so that is the Red Wing Romeo. It's just a nice, uh, quick and easy functional option to have in rotation. Um, it's, uh, you know, just a slip-on shoe, high quality components, uh, great construction, uh, and just a, a really unique design that uh, isn't going to be for everybody, but if you do like the look of this thing. It's going to uh, hold a steady place in your rotation. All right. Thanks a lot.